Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do my July favorites. So I have quite a bit of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in if you don't mind. I'm gonna start off with my favorites, which is of course the lip products. I would have to say this month, it's not so much the lip products itself, um, more of the shade, which I'm feeling, I'm feeling nude lips right now. I know I'm not wearing one. In fact, this is actually another shade for another video, but I am wearing one of my favorites as a topper. I don't know if you can tell, but it is the unicorn tears that I uh, talked about in my unboxing video. I don't know if you saw it, but I will link that video down below. And it's unicorn tears and it's a very unique shade. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but I will go ahead and swatch it. It's more of a topper and it has blue, purple pearlies in it. And I am freaking obsessed with this, especially over a dark lip. It just adds so much color and texture to an already, you know, gorgeous shade like the one I'm wearing today. I put this on top and I'm kind of obsessed with it. It almost makes it look metallic-y, which, you know, metallic lips are in right now. But it's like you can kind of transform your own shades into your own metallic shades, which I really like. It's kind of funny because even though it's not a matte lipstick, it's a, it's a look creme lipstick so it's very creamy I still freaking love it and I'm not a creamy lips type person I just so happen to love this particular shade I think it's a great shade to pick up to add to the collection especially if you like to transform some of your own shades or, or you know mix colors this is definitely one I would have to say is one of my July favorites so that's one down the next one is actually an older shade, but I've been reaching for it every day. In fact, it stays in my makeup bag and I, I don't really take it out. It just stays there because sometimes I run out of lipstick or sometimes I forget a lipstick. And this is kind of just my go-to safe nude. And that is, of course, Celebrity Skin. I know you've seen swatches. I know you're familiar with this shade, but still, it's just hands down the perfect nude. I just... There's just nothing about it I don't like, honestly. And of course, it's by Jeffree Star, and it's my favorite formula. So I really don't need to get into that very much. Uh, if you'd like to see this one swatched, I do have a video on this one as well. Wow, I sound like I'm selling myself. But I do have a video of this swatched, so if you want to see that one, I will link that down below as well, just in case. Just saying, um, but in addition to this particular nude, I actually have two other nudes that I really love as toppers. This is like a topper month, but so I like to use Celebrity Skin as a base, and then I have two other shades, and one is the Too Faced. Too Faced Chocolate Honey. I got this one at Gen Beauty and I love it. I've actually loved it ever since I got it. It's beautiful on its own. Honestly, like really. I feel like the melted chocolates did not get the love they deserve because I feel it went from the melted to melted metals to melted chocolate and then boom, the melted mattes came out and everybody was obsessed with those. Me, I kind of... As you know, I don't know if you've seen any of my older videos, but I didn't pick up any of the melted mattes immediately. I was still loving this one, and honestly, this one over Celebrity Skin is also really pretty. I'm not going to put it over this one because my swatch isn't dry yet, but it's definitely a shade that if you love nudes, this is a great one. If you don't like matte nudes, then I would highly suggest you pick this one up. I think it would look fabulous on all skin tones. It's very warm toned, whereas you can see, I want to say Celebrity Skin is kind of cool toned, which is fabulous if you like a variety like I do, you know. I like to have multiple of the same shades. But this is definitely one that is kind of a, a hidden gem. I reach for it, you know, at least once a week, it feels like. Alone, this shade is beautiful, but if you use it as a topper over another shade, it's even, even prettier to be honest. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's actually been one of my favorites for the past few months since I got it at Gen Beauty but I figured I'd mention it in this video because I wanted to share. Again that is Chocolate Honey by Too Faced so definitely check it out. 
The next nude I want to talk about is a more affordable nude, and that's the NYX Simply Nude Stick. And this one's exposed, so it is a little bit peachier, but it's still so pretty. I like to use this one as a topper as well, either over a lip liner or any of my nudes. Like honestly, this one goes great over everything. As a top coat, it just brings out the, the peachiness in it, which I really like because it's still a very muted, peachy nude so that, you know you can still see the browns in it it's a nice variety of nudes as you can see but this is definitely the color palette that i have been working with and this is definitely the color palette that i've been loving i know i'm not wearing a nude lip today like i said but this is just this is fun to me and this is what's been <laughs> i've been drawn to this month so that is all the lip products that I'm loving so I thought I would share but moving on to my next section of favorites uh, I'm going to go into brushes one of them is dirty so do not judge me for it but this is the new BH Cosmetics V1 face brush look at this head how big it is I know like I said it's dirty <laughs> don't judge me but I absolutely freaking love this like it's almost as big as my head okay not really because I have a big head but still it's it covers everything like you can set everything <laughs> you just two swipes and oh my gosh you're done this one sells for six dollars when i picked it up it was actually on sale for 30 percent off i believe it was so i think i picked it up for 450 which i think is a freaking steal there they just had a sale which was buy one get one 60 percent off which i think is also a steal um bh cosmetics is forever having sales so I would definitely recommend this one, especially for a face brush. It's so soft. It is vegan, and this is probably the best face brush that I have found. I absolutely love it. Honestly, there was just no way it was not going to be on my favorites list. In fact, I just got it um, a week and a half ago, a week ago, and it's it blew me away. I've used it every single day since. I usually buy face brushes, and they have A, smaller heads, and B, they're just... They kind of just fade away to me. I don't really have one that I reach for every single time. I reach for this one every single day this week. So I absolutely love it. Highly recommend it. Again, it's from BH Cosmetics. I will link their site down below. Definitely check them out for this particular brush. The second brush that I want to talk about is, <laughs> of course, I know if you watch my unboxing video, you already saw this brush. This is the V5 blending brush from BH Cosmetics as well. I have absolutely been loving these. I have reached for this brush every single time. Just by its head alone, I will automatically reach for this one over my Morphe E22 and E28. And those have been my favorite brushes since like December. So uh, honestly, this one sells for $4. The Morphe ones I believe are about seven or eight dollars don't quote me on that um, but this one the head is slightly bigger and so much softer and it blends just as well like a freaking dream I use it today I'm obsessed with it I actually picked up two more so I now have four of them that's how much I freaking love them and the next time they go on sale you know what I'm probably gonna buy more because I my new favorite not gonna lie it is part of their new line if you saw my unboxing video they come in these cute new boxes so that kind of like sold me on them as well I know a lot of people wanted to see me do some reviews on them this is kind of my follow-up impression I'm still playing with the other brushes I do really like the other brushes but right off the bat these two are just phenomenal they're they've sold me I love them I will rebuy and rebuy them again and again I've washed these ones like four times already and they haven't given me any trouble and none of the bristles have fallen out I just I'm sold like I said I definitely recommend this one so there is just no way it could escape my favorites video this month so that's all I have for brushes moving on again this one here is actually a sample it's a deluxe sample and it is the benefit Cabral I have been using this like freaking crazy. I got this one from Sephora and it is in the shade number five and I it's just absolutely perfect. I am loving this 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 particular one and I know uh, I've had this for about a month now and out of all my all my brow products this is the one I reach for the most and as you know if you know me you know I suck at brows you know I hate <laughs> my brows so this is heaven sent but the product is on the bottom and the brush is in the cap and it just 
in, you're good. It's just so convenient because I am forever losing my eyebrow brushes. I know I just picked up a new one from BH Cosmetics, but I, I've been still using this one instead of that one, so that's why I haven't tested that one out yet. Like I said, this is just a deluxe sample. I still have so much product left, but once I do, I guarantee you I'm going to buy the full size one. I just, I'm trying to save money, <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you. But this one picks up the product so well. And I think because the head is so small, the precision of it is just that much better. It just, I think it's fabulous. I think it's wonderful. I think it's so easy to do your brows with, which, you know, anything that makes me doing my brows easy and quickly, I'm all for it. I'm 100% for it. So definitely one of my favorites. I've kind of been wanting to talk about it on Snapchat for a while, but I haven't. I wanted to save it for this video. But seriously, I am loving this product. This is definitely at the top of my July favorites list. Uh, and then moving on. And this is something I also picked up recently about a week and a half ago and it is the Too Faced stretch marker. So if you know me, you know I, I, I use Kat Von D's tattoo liner pretty religiously. I've been trying to branch out and try different brands just to see, you know, if there is anything comparable or better or, or anything. And I went to Ulta the other, the other day. This black is probably the best black eyeliner that I have ever used. It is so pigmented. Honestly, I was blown away. It's just jet black and I love a jet black eyeliner, especially felt tips. I'm all about that. The better the felt tip, the better the wing. So that is something that I will 100% swear by. That is something I will 100% stand by. If you have a weak tip, then you're not going to have a good wing. You know, a lot of people ask me how I get my wings and it's all in the eyeliner. So pick up a good eyeliner and you are good to go. This one here, when I first, Disclaimer, this one here, when I first used it, I was in a hurry. First time, I was in a hurry and I was like, I'm gonna use this, I'm so excited, it's watched so well, but I didn't do so well because apparently, I don't know if it's just me, I don't know if it was just my product, I don't know if I'm imagining it, but you kind of have to break in the tip a little bit. When I first got it, the tip was a little bit hard, so I, usually when I do my wings, I kind of let it just glide on my lid, so it, you know, it forms itself. This one here, I kind of had to actually draw it in and it doesn't do that anymore I mean you see here I can swipe it and it's it's good to go so I really think it's one that you have to break in so first time you use it maybe run it across your your hands a little bit and you know break the tip so that it, it lets the liquid flow to it because I think that's something that if I had known I would have had better luck with my wings that day because let me, let me tell you they were they were embarrassing, <laughs> okay? But this one is definitely something I would recommend. I am freaking loving it. And this is just in regular black. They have a charcoal black, and I didn't love it as much as I love the black. And like I said, who doesn't love a black eyeliner? This one, definitely top of my obsessions and favorites for this month. So yeah, throwing that out there. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to something that has been around a while. I feel like it's an oldie but a goodie, and that is the Sweet Peach Palette. I've been reaching for this so much lately, especially during the week because I don't wear a lot of makeup to work lately. And it's just the best neutral palette. I mean, it's very warm, very summery, and it smells so good. Like even as I'm sitting here, like just kind of moving it around a little bit, I'm dying because it smells so good, and now I wanna go eat a peach but I have to record. So honestly, this palette is just one of the best neutral palettes that I have. I think if you watched my last Jeffree Star video, I mentioned having an orange, orangey eye, and that was this palette I was working with. So as you can see what I meant by that, you can probably see where I was going with that. But this side of the palette is so neutral that you can kind of wear it every single day. So a couple of my favorite shades are actually Peach Pit, which is this one here, and that one is just a, just a freaking beautiful shade. I'm wearing that one today. I'm also wearing Bless Her Heart and a couple of other shades like Peaches and Cream, which is an amazing shade and actually one of my favorite shades from the palette. I just freaking love this 
palette. This is, like I said, one of the ones I've been reaching for so much lately. I just feel like it's a necessity, a must have to your collection if you are a fan of neutral, you know, warm eyes. Uh, I don't think it's in stock right now though. I, it is limited edition, but I do know they update it every now and then. So if you see it and you don't own it, pick it up. You won't regret it. Definitely top of my favorites list as well, just because you always need one good palette for the month. This one is my one good palette for the month. So Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Highly recommend. Definitely one of my favorites. I think I say definitely like 82 million times. It's almost as bad as my um. So before we get into kind of the last segment of favorites, I kind of have an anomaly in my like favorites this month, and that is a soap bar. I wanted to do this in my favorites video last month, but I had ran out. And it is a chunky bar by Perfectly Posh. I don't sell it, but my coworker does, and I am so obsessed with this particular soap bar. It's called Good Morning Beautiful. Come on, that's sweet. And it's lemon and green tea plus caffeine scented. And even Jesse loves this bar. We swear by it. This is like my third one since being introduced to it. It smells so amazing. I honestly, it's the best thing you could possibly have in the shower with you in the morning to wake you up. It, it, the caffeine in it, it just invigorates the body. I just honestly am so obsessed with this soap I tell anyone who asks me about it you need this soap like it's just I, I I highly recommend and I don't recommend a lot of soaps I mean that's kind of a personal thing but this is just one that seriously is so good it sells for nine dollars and it's actually on sale for eight dollars right now which makes me so happy because I actually ordered two more one I will keep keeping for myself and one I think I'm actually gonna be using for a giveaway because I I love it that much and I really recommend it that much so I kind of like I want to share the glory because it's glorious trust me it's seriously probably one of my favorites of 2016 so far and, and like I said it's weird because it's a soap and I don't normally go around recommending these type of things but this is one that you definitely should check out I'm gonna link it down below because it's one of my favorites I mean there's not much to say about it except for it's amazing it smells great it awakens your everything your senses i freaking love this this is definitely one of my favorites for the month of july like i said i'll link it down below check them out and like there's different scents but this one is the one that i'm going to stand by this is what i'm going to say is amazing if you try it and you love it which you probably will let me know down below and i will love you forever last but not least we're going to get into my favorite highlighters of the month so if you've been following me on snap then i might have mentioned once or twice that i'm just going through a no blush phase like i'm not wearing blush today i didn't wear blush in my last video and a couple of my other videos i wasn't wearing blush just because i just i'm not in a blush phase right now so because i'm not really into blush right now i've been using a lot of peach rosy tone highlighters so two of my favorites this month are going to have to be First and foremost, Jeffree Star's Peach Goddess. I already talked about this one in my swatch and review video, but this one has just been heaven sent for me just because it is very peachy. It is very rosy. I don't know if I have any room in my arm, but it's just been so great on the skin, you know, to add just a tiny bit of color for me because like I said, I don't want the texture of the blush, but I kind of wanted the color of the blush. So I definitely have been reaching for this one like every other day if I've been wearing, you know, any makeup at all this has definitely been one that's been saving me quite a bit this last month I just wanted to throw that one out there this is one that I've been loving because it's just so subtle on my skin tone that I just it, it's one like I said I've been reaching for quite often definitely on my favorites list this is a, another one along with ice cold that I would recommend but right now I would recommend this one over ice cold because this is my current favorite next highlighter that I've been reaching for is another old one and it is the Cindy Lou Manizer from the balm if you're familiar with the balm then you're familiar with this shade it is absolutely fabulous I I've been using a lot of Mary Lou as well but Cindy Lou because of the fact that I'm not wearing very much blush this month has been one of my go-to's because it's very peachy rosy toned as well 
little off to the side and it's got the highlight to it but it's not as overwhelming as that you know, that like peach goddess so if i don't want highlight but i still want a little bit of highlight but i don't want blush but i still want a little bit of color this is what i'm reaching for because it's such a subtle yet still you know pigmented and you know rosy enough for me to actually use uh, every day so I reach for this one a couple times of the week as well so it's definitely one that I would recommend right now if you're kind of going through that phase like I am or if you know you don't like blush or you don't like highlighters then I would recommend this one first and foremost out of anything because it's just such a perfect in the middle highlight blush shade that you really cannot go wrong with it so this one made it to the top of my favorites list as well this month just again throwing that one out there and now we get to the star of the show. My freaking favorite, 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 favorite thing this month. Like, oh my gosh, I think I've used it almost every single day that I've gotten it. I've paired it with even some of my other products that I mentioned this month. And that is going to be the Anastasia Moonchild Kit. I am freaking loving this palette. Like, look at this. Do you see this? I mean, I'm not, this isn't a filter, you know, this is actually what it looks like. And I, I can't get over it. I'm wearing it today, you can kind of see it. I'm actually wearing three shades because, so I had every intention of only wearing pink heart and star. I was gonna wear star with pink heart over it, but I accidentally, I wasn't paying attention. I dipped my brush into blue ice and then I went on. So then when I noticed I had a blue tint, I was like, oh damn, <laughs> I did that. Uh, I done messed up. So I committed, I committed. So I'm wearing three of them. I'm wearing star as a base, blue ice, and pink heart on my cheeks right now. I don't know if you can tell. I was wearing Lucky Clover and pink heart in my last video of the Jeffree Star swatches. I was so in love with my highlight. I'm not gonna lie. I could not stop staring. Like I would take screenshots of my footage because I was like, damn girl, look at that glow. Like this, this, palette is so good I can't even stress enough how good it is it's not in stock right now but I hear there is going to be a restock you need to get your hands on it like if there's anything out of this group of favorites that I'm going to say you know this is my number one favorite that's it's this one I am so glad I picked this up. In fact, because I love this one so much, I picked up the Sweets palette. I have one of the other ones, and I do love that one, but this one has just been blowing my mind, especially because the shades are so unique. And it's not as pigmented of a highlight as any of the other ones I own, like any of the other Anastasia ones. It's kind of a, it's a glow. Like, it's, it's just... A, a colorful glow and it's really weird because like Lucky Clover it looks white but swatch is actually kind of green do you see that it's got these yellow gold green undertones to it, which I freaking love like I'm not gonna lie it's amazing and then like we'll dip into blue moon which is one of my favorites from this shade I'm not gonna lie and that one has a blue glow to it it's a silver blue which I freaking love like you could I don't know if it captures on camera as well as it does in person, but you can definitely see the blue to it. And then you have Pink Heart, which is like my second favorite from the palette. And that one is a very pinky gold toned one. I really love that one as well. That's probably, like I said, one of my second favorites. And paired with Lucky Clover, it makes a really gorgeous shade. So if you haven't tried that already, maybe you should try that because you'll probably love it like I do. Just saying. I'm seriously obsessed with this palette. Like, you can actually tell that I've been using them like crazy. And it works best. I used it today with one of my Morphe brushes, but I would have to say this particular palette I do love more when applied with the Anastasia A23 brush. It's definitely the best way to apply this particular palette. Like, I freaking love it. And like I said, it's almost like, I think it's because it's so iridescent as far as shades go. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Star. That one is like a metallic silver, which is like real body. I really freaking love it. That's kind of why I wanted to pair it with Pink Heart because I hadn't used that combination before and I had a feeling it would look really pretty together. Look at this. Check that out. I will just go ahead and swatch Purple Horse while I'm at it. And that one I will put here. This is a very sheer iridescent purple. Very galaxy-like. Like, look at that. You can see it. 
in the light. I really love that shade as well. I actually haven't played with that one as much as I should. And now that I swatched it, I'm going to probably use it tomorrow in my next video or something. I don't know. But I'm loving it. This is $40 exclusive to the Anastasia website so it is limited edition and it is like I said exclusive only online you can't get it in Macy's you can't get it in Sephora you have to buy it through the website so I would highly recommend you check this one out this is again top of my favorites um yeah that kind of concludes it because you know we save the best for last which is this one. And that about wraps it up. Like I, I know I talked really fast through this video. <laughs> Oops. But I just, I kind of just wanted to say what I could say about everything, all my favorites. I know there was a lot, so it's a lot to take in. I'm gonna link everything down below. And if you wanna check things out, you know, check them out. If you decide to pick up a couple of the things, then let me know down below which ones you're getting. Let me know if you already have some of these, which your favorites are. I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please subscribe. Uh, if you don't like this video, please just walk away. Pretend it did not happen. And maybe, hopefully, possibly, I will get you in the next video. We will see. Um, but until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye.